to June 5th of 2022 in the New York to 2022 announcement. I announced that I would be making a sequel to the driving back home videos from the video profile in 2016. And you can tell I was not wrong. I actually kept my promise. And I've been actually thinking about doing that since at least April. Like the beginning of April. Like, it's actually, hold on a second. Hey, it's actually been exactly five months since I originally uh, came up with that idea. So, hey, yeah, I came up with it on April 3rd, 2022, that I wanted to do a sequel to not only driving back home, but also driving to New York or just driving to vacation. Obviously, driving to vacations didn't happen because I flew up to New York a week early. Um, but I promise you it'll be there next time in 2023 because next time around, I think I might actually be in the car that time. What actually stayed a part of the original plan was driving back home videos because unlike when I traveled up, I'm actually in the car on the way back. Now, that was also still part of the original plan. And hey, it stayed, which is nice. So, currently it is, let's take a look. It is 6.06 .06 p.m. It is Saturday, September 3rd, 2022. Uh, this is day one of two of driving back home because uh, for the past three weeks, I have been in New York. And honestly, I feel it was honestly time for it to come to a close. Three weeks is a long time inside a state like New York. And honestly, I feel it was honestly time to go. I have been there for three weeks. I honestly think I think I have spent enough time there. And honestly, I felt just like right before leaving, um, and even in the back of your video prior to this video going up, um, I even said to myself, I think I spent enough time here, or whatever I said, but I think I said that, yeah, I think it's time to go. I think that's what I said in the video. I haven't rewatched it. So I said at least something similar to that. But the point is, um, <laughs> Currently, as of right now, and yes, as you know, part two will be out on September 4th as we pretty much finish the drive. Uh, but that was curious. We'd be in Virginia. And in the next part, uh, which is the second part out of two, we will be back um, in my home state. Uh, very similarly to part three of driving back home in 2016. If you remember in the original, I made the video in the state that we were either stopping for the night or where my house is. And I wanted to recreate that because I feel I want to appeal to the original just a little. Obviously, six years have passed since that video, or just all three of those videos in general. Um, so of course, things are different. First off, the car itself, uh, yeah, because we got this one in 2021 in March, on March 6th. I actually remember that because I actually remember getting it that day. Okay, uh, my, um, to be exact. The point remains, you guys should actually see this. Look at this. This is freaking nuts. The sun is impressive. And as of right now, I have technically been up for like 12 hours. I've been up since like 6 a.m. And I am surprised I am not had, I have not already fallen asleep already. I have been up for like almost already 12 hours. I wanna say 6 a.m. or just 6.30 a.m. I'm not sure. But I've at least been up for 12 hours. I am surprised I have not fallen back asleep yet. Oh, I will be in probably a few hours knowing myself. Actually, fun fact, we all had to get up early. Granted, though, we left the Thousand Islands, uh, or at least got into the car to go, um, you know, get out of there, it was at like 8.15 p.m. EST. It was originally meant to be 8 a.m., uh, but uh, 
was having still a little too much fun with some cousins because I wouldn't see them again for at least, and no, for the first time ever, not a year. Now, let's just say at least, and we mean at least 10 months. Yeah, it's not even a year this time because of how late the trip occurred. Um, so yeah, potentially 10 months until the next New York trip, which honestly, I am completely fine with. I mean, we literally just concluded this one. Now, how do I feel about this trip? Was it good? Yes, obviously, all trips of this were good. Was it worth waiting till August for the Thousand Islands? You bet it was. It was definitely worth waiting three months, just wasting the entire summer at home. Was it worth that? Oh, I definitely think I can agree. Yeah, it truly was worth the wait. Now, as if we're gonna be doing this again the next year? Probably not. But you never know what can happen in a year. But I assure you, I don't think it's gonna be happening again the next year where we do, you know, the Thousand Islands. It definitely won't be in August, I'll assure you that one. Uh, don't point the camera towards me. Oh, no, 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 I'm pointing towards myself. No, don't point the camera towards me. But can you advertise my book when you're out with your uh, roll here? Um, oh yeah, right. Oh wait, that's right, none of you know about that. Give me a second. I'm not gonna lie, that's a pretty good view out there. I mean, look at that. See that? It's a pretty freaking great view. And, um, yeah, we still got a long way to go. Uh, another day to go of this thing. Will it be great to be back in my own room and house after three weeks? Yeah, I'll definitely agree, yeah. Um, but it will be weird at first, uh, being back in my room after like three weeks um so yeah um it also will be weird in general being back in my house after three weeks that like i even so used to being uh in new york for like the last three weeks it's gonna be really weird going back into my house after that long um because as of recording this i have not been in that house for like the last 21 days it has been 21 days since I last was in that house. Um, well, make that 22 because uh, we're not getting back until like September 4th. So uh, make that 22 days. <laughs> Three weeks in one day. And um, yeah, it will be weird at first, I'll tell you that. But I'll get used to it very quickly. And it's very funny. And I find it freaking hilarious that we literally get back literally the night before Labor Day. Just in time for the Labor Day episode. How insane is that, guys? I know, literally just in time for Labor Day. Now, it, while are we going to be doing anything for Labor Day it is beyond me. Probably nothing, considering uh, we would have just gotten back to our house. Will I make a Labor Day mini event? I don't know. The problem is, that day is going to be dedicated to taking down El Lagos Island Summer. Um, I still got a few things that day that I want to do. Labor Day episode for Factory Fields, as usual, I want to keep that tradition every year. Uh, fun fact, speaking of, um, this year's is the first Labor Day episode to land on the exact same day as the first one. How nuts is that, right? First Labor Day episode occurred on September 5th, 2016, and Labor Day happens to land on the exact same day um, as that year, because this year's days are the exact same days as uh, 2016. So, yeah. Alright, also, let me show you back here. I don't think I'm going to keep the video going too much longer, but hey, I thought I'd just talk to you guys about some stuff. Um, yep, you can see the uh, road behind us. It looks pretty sweet. I am surprised there's not really that many cars out here. Uh, I'm talking about like, well, at least like really close to us. Obviously, you can see a ton back there, but yeah, it's pretty sweet. I'm surprised there's not a ton of them closer to us. No, that's a common thing on these trips. 
Um, yeah, I don't think it'll be that much longer. At least until we technically stop for the night. But besides that, um, I'm going to end the video before it gets any longer because it's already 10 minutes long. And I still want to uh, greatly apologize for having a ton of these vlogs and back reveals like crazy long. Um, I promise when I get back that um, I and I'm being serious. I I, I, I don't want to lie to you guys here. I, I actually seriously have been trying to make these videos a little bit shorter so they aren't crazy long. But unfortunately, that has failed recently, and I still want to apologize. Labor Day episode, um, and uh, a ton of other back reviews and vlogs will not be like. My goal is to not have them like over 10 minutes long anymore. It just gets too long. And I bet you guys probably hate that sometimes. And honestly, if you do, I can also agree because I do as well sometimes. Wait, hold on. What the heck is going on here? Ow, oh, never mind. Spoke too soon here. Just nothing here. I've seen these segments before. If you can hear that, yeah, I wasn't joking. We actually are in Virginia. If you could actually hear the GPS, which if you are, I am actually would be quite surprised. Uh, well, that's way too zoomed up. Again, like I said, I'm gonna cut the video here because it's getting a bit long. So um, I'll see you guys for part two on Sunday, September 4th. And by then we will be back in our homestay. Oh, wait, I've already told you guys that ages ago what that was. I already told you guys that, like, back on the video profile. You guys already know that by now. Eh, forgot how long ago that was. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, I know. Episode, um, I think it was episode 11 of Wildlife on March 5th, 2016. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure. But see you in the next one, guys. I'm going to end it again here before it gets crazy long. And dear God, that freaking sun and just that glow is freaking amazing. See you in the next one. I thought I'd just make this just to prove to you guys I actually still kept my promise like two, um, nearly three months ago when I announced that. So with that being said, that's it. And we'll be back in one day to do the second part. Oh, and P.S. There may or may not be a vlog when I actually get back to my house just to pretty much wrap up this trip once and for all. Don't be surprised if you see a vlog like that on the night of September 4th. I'm actually considering doing that.